But I'm going to say to you what I told myself before anything else. Mm. Everything may be rushing on me. Everything may be too slow on me. Was Zahara the most hated figure in South African entertainment industry? In the wake of her passing, an art videos shed light on how various celebrities ridiculed and belittled her during her prime in the South African entertainment scene. This has left her devoted fans very angry, questioning why she faced such relentless opposition. Many netizens wonder what wrongs she may have committed to deserve such treatment. Zahara herself admitted in previous interviews that this relentless mockery led her down a path of excessive drinking and depression. In this expose, we dive into the list of South African public figures who openly mocked Zahara and some argue contributed to her public humiliation and emotional turmoil. Hello, my name is Chief Okuzo from Plug TV. Number 1. Rapper aka before his tragic demise, it appeared that Zahara posed a significant threat to rapper AKA's music career, as both artists rose to prominence in the same year. At one point, while celebrating his numerous music awards, AKA would boast about how he had scooped all those accolades, some of which were speculated to belong to Zahara. Uh, I don't know how many people got mamas, but I have one. Anyway, uh, those are the metros. Uh, they said Zahara was going to win all of those. They was wrong. Uh, those are my three summers, uh, two best males and one best hip hop. The one year I whooped Jimmy Dludlu's ass. Unfortunately, AKA's life was cut short by unknown assailants outside a Durban restaurant on February 11th, 2023 at the age of 35. Remarkably, Zahara also passed away on December 11th, 2023. The two artists, born in the same year, ascended in the music industry in the same year and met their untimely demise on the same date, the 11th, albeit in different months. Number 2. Somizi The perpetually stylish South African TV personality was not exempt from her career. In 2017, while co-hosting the South African Music Awards, Somizi accused the singer of being an alcoholic. The SAPC one in a that thing. We are almost at the end of the show. There's an amazing after party. Free bar. Zahara. Oop. Following Zahara's passing, Somizi expressed remorse for his previous mockery, acknowledging that she did not deserve the ridicule she endured. The choreographer and media personality questioned the tendency of many people to only celebrate a person's life after their passing, stating, I know for sure that Zahara is going to be an overnight hero, an overnight icon. People are going to be saying how the industry has lost a, a an icon, how she's gone too soon, how she was amazing, how she was an amazing vocalist, how she... And yet we all know that in reality, she was one of the most mocked personalities. People celebrated her downfall. People used to make fun of her situations we knew that she had her own fair share of hardships but she was hardly giving her flowers right and for me that is the part that i'm like ah, human beings human beings number three dj spoo Another figure accused of contributing to Zahara's emotional turmoil was DJ Spoo, who had been accused by Zahara of withholding her royalties from her Loliwe album, amounting to over 30 million rands. Zahara claimed she couldn't access the funds and she couldn't afford legal representations. Following Zahara's passing, DJ Spoo faced a backlash from netizens who accused him of playing a role in her difficult journey. 
During a tribute to Zahara on Newsroom Africa, DJ Sbu addressed these allegations, clarifying, saying, in, in, in other words, I wouldn't want to get into this conversation because she's just passed on. Mm. But just to let you know that um, the, 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 the story that was out there that we were owing monies is false because we were owed monies. But I don't think it's money that I would have wanted. Uh, I moved on from the music. I went on to business. I love Buleno. And sometimes as she would speak speak out, which is a good thing, she must, I, I would support her speaking out. But knowing that it would be it would be false, I, I'd rather keep quiet most of the times and not entertain it and just hope that there'll, there'll be a time for us to sit down and talk and see how we can um, mend our relationship. It's just said that she passed on before um, that had happened. Now, Zahara's musical journey was marked by turbulence, and despite her numerous public plea for support, only a few stood by her. Her untimely demise on December 12, 2023, due to liver complications, has led many to believe that her excessive alcohol consumption, fueled by public humiliation and emotional torment in the entertainment industry, played a significant role in her tragic end. May her soul rest in peace. That is it for now. Thanks for watching. Let's me next time. Bye bye.